Hey everyone, uh, my name is Monica Martinez and I'm here to share some uh, tips with you about Google Hangout Meet. And as you can see, my captions are on down there at the bottom of the screen. Uh, that's actually one of the things we're gonna be talking about today. So let me turn those off. All right, so I wanted to chat with you guys about the new features that have come out um, since a lot of us have gone online and a lot of people are still doing that. So I wanna make sure that everyone's aware of these new features that you can take advantage of. If you're under your domain account and your administrator has turned on the possibility to record and to live stream, well, now you have extra things that you can do. Um, and as a teacher, a lot of times we're concerned with um, uh, our kids being on this platform and if they're new to it, um, perhaps not knowing how to mute and how to do things. And so I wanna share a couple of those things with you. I only have two people in this meet um, that I'm recording right now. So it's my two accounts. So I've got a student account and a teacher account. Right now we're looking at the teacher account and I have a separate window open over here where my students would be able to see me. That's me right there. Uh, and this would be the uh, student account. And so this student is currently um, this second person here. So the second Monica that you see that's only an image. Um, and let's say that this person uh, maybe didn't belong or was talking and they didn't know how to mute. So from this little drop down menu right here on the right hand side next to that person's name, I could mute them, which I've already done so that we wouldn't get feedback on this recording. You can also pin them to the screen. So if I were to actually pin this person here, even as somebody else sort of chimes in or tries to talk, um, they, they get pinned to the screen so that um, if you're recording, for example, or if that person's presenting, it stays on that screen and it doesn't jump around between people, which can be really distracting. Um, and I love that for the recording, it's quite nice because it's not gonna bounce around. Um, and then lastly, you'll see here that there is an option for removing your students. And you can use this in many different ways. Let's say a student came in that wasn't supposed to, they're earlier than they should have been, um, they're the next class or something, and it's the same link for the Hangout or perhaps that link got shared and they're not supposed to be in there, you can remove them. So that's one way to certainly control who's in and, in and out of your um, Google Hangout Meet at the same time. So nice little options that you have uh, there for um, your students. So get gives you a little more control over what's going on. Down here at the bottom, you'll see a couple extra things. I want to point out that the three little dots, which are now from what I understand being called um, the snowman, um, if you go on there, you'll see the option for recording, which we briefly just mentioned. Um, turn captions on, which you can also do down here from the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And what it's going to do, which is what you saw um, at the very beginning, is that it's going to pick up on my uh, voice, the audio, and it's going to leave it down there um, at the bottom for you. And so I want to point out here that you can actually, so you can see it down here at the bottom, um, it does quite well. You're, you don't have to talk super slow um, and you don't have to worry about uh, having to over pronounce certain words or anything like that. If you start to see it sort of miss the mark on what you're saying, you can certainly um, maybe slow down at that point. But otherwise, I, I see that it does quite well. Um, so that feature is really nice. Um, it's going to be extra uh, great when you're working with students that need that extra support. But more than anything, you never know what that connection is going to be with um, your students in their home if they've got Wi-Fi that supports um, the streaming as well. And so having that additional um, caption at the bottom to capture or catch anything they may have missed is going to be really great for them. So. Anyway, those are some of the extra little things that I wanted to share with you. Hopefully, um, you've picked up on some new things you can do within Google Hangout Meet and have a much more seamless uh, and great experience when you're connecting with your students via Google Meet.